So I'm going to predict the ion formed by sodium. Again, I look to see on the PR table this information. I know from reading the PR table that it's got 11 protons, and I know that because of the atomic number. And I know that if I take the mass number, which is 23, and I subtract 11, I get 12, and that's my number of neutrons. I know that my electrons equals my number of protons, so I can draw them on now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've now drawn the neutral atom of sodium. There's been no loss or gain of electrons. I've just drawn my Bohr-Rutherford diagram. Now I need to predict the ion. So what I need to do is I look at the outermost orbit or the valence orbit, and I see that there's one electron in this orbit. And I think to myself, is it going to lose the one electron or gain seven more to get a full orbit? And I know that it's going to lose the outer orbit. And it, that electron, or sorry, I'm going to lose the outer electron, and that electron will go to somewhere like maybe chlorine or fluorine or somewhere else. To communicate this, I draw brackets. I write one positive because now there's one more proton than there are electrons. And if you want to as well, you can even erase this outer orbit if you need to um, or scratch it out um, to help you communicate that that electron's been lost or gone somewhere else. So if you kind of know that that electron's gone and now your valence orbit is the one that remains, it's this orbit right here and it is full.